Venus. Hello everyone, welcome to the Saturday special. Oh good god, I feel weird. I feel really weird, like I had a complete week off of streaming. Came back, did one day of streaming and then went on a weekend for the two days. I don't feel used to streaming at all. Not at all. Hopefully that also means that, you know, I've had a good time off. Also means that I've gone for two weeks since I last played Sekiro, so I'm gonna suck. I'm gonna suck real bad. Oh, God. Don't even done all that much, honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mentioned with the God of War stream that I was gonna have to take a long time of you know, doing stuff off um, off stream, you know, because um, yeah, blah 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 blah. Because I worked out it was going to take about twenty hours of doing the method that I was doing to get it all done. But uh, I kind of sat down and started that, um, got to a point where I had. Yeah, I think I farmed using that method until I had enough Echoes to get the armor set that also gives you extra time in the mist. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm taking extra... I'm, you know, I'm able to be here a lot longer. Let's, you know, try doing the dungeon. Did one complete circuit of the dungeon. Involved killing a Valkyrie, which I had no idea. I had no idea there was a Valkyrie there. And came out with 10,000 Echoes. I was like, oh, that's an easier way. Total of about three, maybe four hours of doing that. And also thinking, okay, so I'm now, yeah, I've got now, uh, you know, after buying everything I wanted to, opening all the chests and upgrading all of my armor as high as I can get it, I thought, okay, I've got about 10,000 echoes left. I need 45,000? Was it? Yeah, 45,000 echoes. So, okay, well, let's have a look. And then I saw in my inventory, the resources you get from Niflheim, you can sell them to Sindri. And he will give you Mist Echoes in exchange for the resources. Well, you know what? Let's sell them all. See what happens. Sold them all. I have 66,000 Echoes now. I was like, oh, I don't need to do any more farming. So one session of me sitting down farming was enough. Not the 20 hours I thought I'd need. So yeah, next next Wednesday um, we will be starting off God of War in the workshop, and I've got the I've got enough echoes for the realm tiers. I have all three anchors of fog, so we're just going to do those, get that done, and then we're on to the Valkyrie hunting, and then that will be that'll be it. That'll be God of War completely flattened once I do the Valkyries. But I make I make it sound like the Valkyries are going to be easy. They're not. They're really not. No. No, no, no. Right, let's have a look at chat and we'll get into Sekiro. Um, I've seen both Mal and Tyr around today already, so hopefully we'll have all three of us um, for Monster Hunter. Uh, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see how this goes as well. Da -da -da. Uh, hello, welcome, Torian, and thank you immediately for your contribution to the Drunk Stream Challenge. Hello, welcome, DJ. Now I'm using video at the same time. Ooh, not good. Torian has saved me the hour drive to Cleveland again. Ew. Ohio. Ugh. Uh, hello, welcome, Poppy. As great as I'm um, going to say, if we worried, I mean, how safely can you drive? Uh, well, actually, I don't know. If Torian was driving, how safely can you drive when your arm's all the way up here to grip the, to the bottom of the steering wheel? If it wasn't um, Torian driving, then, well, that, that throws that joke out of the window. <laughs> It's gross and rainy. You just described my perfect day weather-wise. You make a small joke, something like that in math mood. Don't worry, DJ, I got you. So hi, Daddy has a special guest watching today as one of your besties over today. Hello, Poppy's bestie! I'm weird, if you hadn't already um, realised. I'm not actually sure how, um, how else to describe myself. You'll see. You'll see what I'm like, apart from just weird. Uh, Red, hello and welcome. Really am sick. I'm cold and nothing makes me not cold. I don't know how to advise you because I've never been obscenely cold in my life. I, I'm sat here and it's 
a reasonable temperature weather-wise. In fact, actually, let's go and double check. It's 17 degrees Celsius at the moment. And I am so fucking hot. I don't like it. Uh, oh, and there's the hydrations. How, how many? Three hydrations already. I haven't even started. People think I'm real thirsty. I mean, I am, but yeah. Red hot over then they get touched. You know, bro. Um, no, red hope you feel the best thing around the later. You. So the first time I said, we'll burn seeds to the ground for a bit of warmth, or you know, buy a heated blanket and a heater. Yeah, either or. Do both. Heated blankets are a blessing from the gods. Disagree. <laughs> they kill me, so I disagree. Signals being dumb. I want to make a joke about Americans here. <laughs> probably shouldn't I'd lose half my audience Francis I only compliments your hair thank you I showered and washed it not yesterday but the day out but they thought actually no was it no it's Thursday I've lost track of my days but that's Thursday because I did it um, partway through one uh, Mori stream that night yeah daddy's please good uh I decided Describe how you are, and uh, that's why we're both watching you right now. She wants to check out how cool you are. I'm not cool, I'm warm. That's awful. That was awful, even for me. Right, okay, let's catch up on these. So, let's see. Three hydrations. Thank you for uh, these from Poppy, DJ, and Saurian. And then a the Kipsiutis from DJ. Nothing quite like trying to drink from a full water bottle. Kipper, we've not even begun, but I can already tell this is going to be painful. So for that, fuck off. Yeet! Ah. Uh, Mal, hello and welcome. I have chosen death. Well, yeah, I'm playing Sekiro. Of course I've chosen death. <laughs> and also made you a mod, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty screwed. Well, the chat caught up with... Switch over. Gets me windows up. Stop doing it as they say the same thing. What? I mean, there's nothing quite like drinking from a, a full water bottle. Oh yeah, because it's because I refilled it before I started. I'm not like Ed. I actually hydrate and take care of myself normally. Ah. Uh. Now's more is down. Yeah, I mean to be fair, Mal's primary purpose as a moderator is just so that he can um, upgrade the what well, upgrade update the quote list whilst the streams in emote only mode um, offline. But also he said that he's happy to you know act as a moderator if no one else is about and and the need is there. I'm not cool. I'm warm. Oh, well my body temperature is always higher than most, so you know I'm always warm. But, you know, I still understand how to regulate my own body temperature and how to take care of it. And I just noticed that my right stick is already being a bit wanky. So, yeah, for those of you who didn't see the um, entirety of the last Sekiro um, stream, I killed Owl. Took a while, but I killed him. So, we may not want to keep hydrating, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Don't you worry. If I'm the record keeper, then this is my damn library. Oh, look. Everything's just like it was before. Let's re-commune with this. Scott's idol found. Uh, I want to travel, see what is not. So that's where I am currently. There's the Great Serpent Shrine as well that I have not opened up. I can't remember how to get there either. Well, that's one. That's wonderful. Doesn't even really matter. I don't think I've actually ever gone there apart from farming. Right. Hello, Lord Kuro. Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <laughs> This branch. Also, you dyed your hair as naturally like that. It's nope. The, ever the red, the red has died. You can actually sort of see my um, normal um, hair up there. 
I've actually got some more hair dye because I need to re redo it. To the fountainhead incense. Since they can consume chimkin noodle soup. That's right, Wolf. Chimkin noodle. How was the rice ball? It was delicious. I bet it was. Ever since I was little, I've enjoyed making sweets. You are still little. Look at you. You're tiny. Back at the Hirata estate. Maybe one day, I'll open up a tea house. If I ever Twitch have censored time. nude. Ah! <laughs> Love it. Right. So, um... Is that the altar? I don't know. Do I need to talk to you more? I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord... How's I say nude? Cannot bleed. Yes. It is true that those... It's not a coward's way. It's a serious funny way. However, <laughs> in Lord Genichiro's quarters... I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page, and it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. An old diary entry written by Takeru's page. Lord Takeru held his arm over the incense burner and attempted to cut it with a sword, but incredibly his wound healed instantly and not a drop of blood was shed, Lady Tomoe said. Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What should you be referring to, I wonder? Now then. We just need to figure out... It now censored LMAO, oh, cowards, so and nude. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human... Wow, world. Twitch. Yes. She may be able to help us. Well, I can understand why it censored. So I can understand why they censored cowards and nude. But laugh my ass off, really? It's going to come with the mortal blade, isn't it? Nope. Oh. Twitch is crazy, crazy one eye. The ever blossom tree that Lord Takeru brought from his homeland? Someone cut a branch from the tree and took the flowers for themselves. Without its flowers, the ever blossom was unable to survive. Eventually, the entire tree was lost. The A is a, uh, is a naughty swear word. Oh, yeah, true. It Ask. looks as if. Your brow is less furrowed than before. If only a little. My brow is less furrowed. See that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow... But... Uh, t I, he said to go and talk to her and uh, she might have an idea. I... T what? Game, please make some sense. I know it's not in your nature because you're a FromSoft game, but please make some sense at least once. There we go. If everyone wants to close, I shall not give more context. Well, some things only true friendship can um, really explain and get into. Hmm, okay. I asked Lady Emma about the Sakura tree. You did? What did she say? The tree is called an ever blossom. Lord De Keru brought it here from the divine realm. But it has withered away, and no longer remains. I see. However, it is said that someone plucked a branch from the Ever Blossom and stole off with it. Hmm. Who would do such a thing? I have one. What's lost is lost. Finding a stolen tree branch? We have no information to go on. Let us gather what we can for the aroma first. As you wish. I have all of it. All of it. Key items. Look, 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 look. I've got loads of powers. I've got the shelter stone. I've got the aromatic branch. I've got it all. That's everything I need. 
<laughs> oh yeah, we also went and got the Mask Fragments, Right and Dragon. There's all just all the texts. Maybe being evil for making it sound worse than it actually was. <laughs> Far be it for me to um, Wolf, mention your here, shenanigans. I found something that may help us. It's a stone. A stone. A stone. Yes, look at this. <laughs> hey, Rock. I found. Hey, Wolf. I found a pretty stone. It's gonna help us. Pat, Pat. I'm sure. Okami's ancient text, an old note left by the Okami clan, who sought to reach the Divine Realm. A fragrant stone enshrined in a village within the depths of Ashina. One must throw oneself um, for it to be found. With this, the fountainhead fragrance is complete. Let us depart now to the Divine Realm. What is... Mm. 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 What is it, Wolf? Huh. What is that strangely shaped rock you hold? Is that the fragrant stone of the fountainhead? Maybe. Lord, this stone appeared to have been enshrined. Yes. It is just as the book describes. We're just giving their clothes for each other. Yes. You'd never, you'd never give their clothes back. Oh well. A sweetly <laughs> scented bridal offering written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? Oh, that's where I need to go next. I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm. Lord Kuro. Shang is me, never. Be the gateway to the divine realm. Hmm. I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. My lord, I've procured the flower for the fountainhead aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the sunken valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the fountainhead waters deep within the valley. <laughs> okay. Well okay, wolf. Why well, heated blankets so expensive? Because they got electrics in them. Wolf. That sword on your back. Is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the divine child of the rejuvenating waters at Simpo Temple. The divine child of the rejuvenating waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the divine children of the rejuvenating waters. A false dragon's heritage. I never would have thought. Wait, divine children? Yes, many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. You get the sword so early before the incense stuff, don't you? I was only just noticing it. I know, right? My lord's that flower away to heal stuff you. You? I must remain vigilant. Wolf, all that's left is to find a way to make me bleed. Perhaps Lady Emma will know of a way to make me bleed. Might you ask her? Oh my god. This bit's written so badly. To ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine heir be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine heir is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the Divine Heir's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. Chicken noodle soup, More very reliable, even whilst yes. it's tasty, I even taste that wrong. That's good. Immortal Severance Scrap. Part of the book of Immortal Severance left behind by Takeru. With mortal blade in hand, my blood may be shed. With my blood, the aroma will be complete. The Divine Realm will be in reach. Immortal Severance will be at hand. I must ask to to assist with the beheading. Beheading. This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the Divine Heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. So yeah, apparently it is the mortal blade then. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? You heard me! I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. 
so the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. Burn incense. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Why would you do that? It's the fountain head Why would you make a small cut on cut on your chest if you needed blood? Why not on your hand or something? You're offhand. I see. Well, what the? Do you notice Does no one have any brains in this game? Apparently not. Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's Me met Malx the Red. Friend, that explains everything. It's your last person to watch someone play games like Minecraft. Ah! <laughs> Still summoning the tweet chest. Yes, uh, cheers. Why no chest? Yeah. Kinks. Oh my god. That was it's hands on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. Yep, I know exactly what I need to do now. So the next step in the end... Right. I just want to, again, pull up the ending um, steps. Just so I'm not going to screw this up. Let's give her endings. Endings. doop a doop a doop boo boo boop a doop boo Return. doop 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 Down to the final steps. Um, if you're not done so already, progress the story and create, collect loads of the palace and the shelter stone key items, then choose to um, stay loyal to Kuro, defeat Al, then burn the fountain essence at the altar after talking to Kuro, which I've just done. Next, travel back to the inner sanctum, the doors are now open, talk to the divine child to receive the frozen tears. Right. Is Daddy wrong? No, but also not right. Near, yeah, hello and welcome. Kids are dumb, water kids aren't different. Tell everyone we feel well. You're not wrong, Near. Hey, right, here's Sanctum. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> the doors are open! Now, talk to the Vine Child to receive the Frozen Tears, Com continue the game normally, beat the final boss, talk to Kuro and give him the Frozen Tears with the Divine Dragon Tears. Right. This is the last step I need to do until I um, get to the final boss. No. Oh. Shinobi, if Divine air? More well, say is that Daddy was there? not wrong. Your eyes. Ah. Uh, you have returned, Shinobi of the Divine Air. It appears I have succeeded in Mark becoming the, the cradle. Could you please take my hand? Yes. What? It is cold, much like an ice house, which is why, see? My tears. They freeze as they flow down my face. These frozen tears. Take them. Tears that were shed by the Divine Child of Rejuvenation once she became the Cradle. These are but frozen drops. By having Kuro drink both of Divine Dragon Tears and Frozen Tears, the cradling ritual can be performed. Cold Dragon Tears are just that. Frozen Tears... Does this mean...? Yes. I believe this is what the text referred to as Cold Dragon Tears. The Divine Air must drink them together with the Dragon Tears of the Divine Realm. If he does so, I believe Lord Kuro will be able to rest within the Cradle. Okay, that's... that's everything then. All you need to do is complete the game. Easier said than done. It's this game after all. It's not Star Wars Mal, should I pop a reminder in Discord to add Mal as a moderator to the stuff? Oh, actually, no. I will add it to uh, my little notepad right now. Thank you very much for that, Poppy. I had forgotten. I did mean to, but I'd forgotten to. 
Oh, hello and welcome. Because it's not updated. Yeah. Heard of Game Girl Bathwater now getting ready for ancient Japanese girls' frozen tears. Oh my god. And thank you, Red, for putting me on my best behavior for 10 minutes. Oh, very well timed that. Okay, travel. Now, I need to go to where the corrupted monk was. Wedding cave door. Why is that not working? Why is that not working? Game? Game, you want to tell me something? Why that, that idol doesn't work anymore? I understand why the one, the other ones in Ashina Castle aren't working. That one I understand, but why isn't that one working? You saw someone was by the box. Oh yeah, yeah they would. No, oh, I didn't. Just keep those pleasings. Maybe Nate sat on the idol. Oh, I really hope not. Well, we're going to go to Hidden Forest and backtrack through to that then. Well, good hello and welcome. How's it going? It's not going too badly. I've gotten all the requirements for the perf for the perfect true ending. I just need to actually finish the game now. Is that April dead? Yes. They both are. Ah. Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Wasn't ready for that. Was not ready for that at all. Oh, that's why this sculptor's idol isn't available anymore. I'm sorry, did those... Those guys followed me. That was Mega Monkey 2 of Murderous Boogaloo. Oh, already, already done that one, um, yeah. Oh, no. Gonna leave that. Perfect true ending. That doesn't mean there's a true ending that's not the true ending. Yes. There are four endings to this. There's the bad ending, the neutral ending, the true ending, and the well, the, the good ending and the true ending. I'm going for the true ending. I actually don't know why I came back here. Seem to it being true is a lie. Ah, but is it is it um, a lie or is it just um, not the same as what you're thinking it is? And I can't remember where I'm going with this. So we just go to progress. So another um, terror, shame, and messing around how delightful. I know, right? Now I go. Questions your coffee filled brain asked. You know what the worst thing is? I've got to go back and um, uh, kill other bosses before I can finish the game. Because I foolishly want to platinum this. Can't think why I want to, but I do. Oh dear, pray. Oh, it's only had four strong cards. He's four. Oh my. Oh my. Masochist. I've also decided that I'm going to be platinuming uh, Monster Hunter. That's hair. I've been scooped up by what looks like to be hair or straw, and I... Oh, it's that thing. I'd forgotten about that thing. Do you still have enjoying the pain? Force one couple of Joes. Four. And he died. End roll credits. What's that? The tallest from soft NPC ever. Yeah, yeah, that actually is. Hmm. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I know what's coming. <laughs> oh. Dogs are good whilst in this dude, though. It's just a gigantic dog chew toy. Friend brought him some coffee for me and said it shouldn't affect me much. And later we realised we made a big mistake because the Red House right was. Oh. That's real now. It's been real already. That was more rope than the entire British Navy during the age of sail. <laughs> What's coming? Oh! Ashina Traveller! I've just... Travelled to all areas of the game and just got a trophy for that. 35.8% of people have gotten that. What's coming? So you remember I said there was the corrupted monk fight and there was the true corrupted monk? There's the true corrupted monk's battle arena. So there's supposed to be a boss in the early stages of Emelant. Oh, gods. I think it's the coffee I have. What, Skull Crusher? Oh. Yeah, that's really not healthy. What's the horrible if I remember correctly? Yep, it is. Vaughn, hello and welcome. Ah, oh. my pain is about to be immense. Well, at least they're quite kind enough to give me that. Hang on, true monk fight shouldn't be that bad. At least it's not a tanky. Yeah, but it's got several phases. And also, it's again, it's a Dark Souls boss. Because this game gave up on the hero mechanics partway through. Okay, maybe not. Good. Good, good. Not Skull Crusher, I thought you had another one, not just that. No, I've only got Skull Crusher. I've got Skull Crusher and the other one I have that I drink that I drink um regularly is just normal instant coffee, but it's very strong. Sneak. No, that's an that's a powdered energy drink. Uh, energy drink. Words. No, it's from coffee. Nah. Oh, I'm not looking forward to any of this. At the very least, it's a really pretty arena. Rigren, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Very much appreciated. Best of luck. I think there is a um, way to get one stealth skill on this one, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I think it is via the trees. Let's be right back. Thanks. It is indeed pretty. Alright, look at all this. Look at him, he's got three death blow markers.
here. So skull crush on Google won't compare now. Can't remember. Possibly. Falling leaves, falling bits. I believe in you. Oh, belief is misplaced! That's big that's a big chap. Yeah, that's a woman. Oh look! Bollocks! Best behaves over. Ah. So you've seen two bad movies, six headed far. Shark and dinosaur movies both have bad CGI. Ah. Well, that's a woman. Thought it was abomination. Yeah, both. It can be both. Well, at least that didn't actually damage me. That was a McKerry counter. I didn't know he even did those. And now you do two in a row. And she's immune to the firecrackers. <sighs> I've barely started this, I'm already um, at a boss, that's an obstacle. <sighs> Yay. So a super strategy is useless here. <laughs> and alright. Try with the loaded axe. Because yeah, the sheer amount of posh to damage it does. This isn't exactly what I'd call fair, but hey, since when is there a fair boss in this game now? Oh yeah, I got a new um a new art. It's kind of fun, it's just not that good. Bastard past the first um, stage. <sighs> Obstacles are just things of which people mount over and beat. Unless they're too tall.
What the f <sighs> So you can't just throw a photo which way screens, Robert. Yeah. The huge monkey thing I see last like in this one. Oh! So it's between a monkey and a monkey a monkey and a monkey and you know why. Hmm. I think it's stealth kill, but it seems that it was patched from all things. Oh, great. Great. <sighs> Yay, FromSoft. They patch everything that makes the game easier. They leave in the stuff that makes it harder. I, I've lost the timing with McKinney counters. I really have. I mean, to be fair, that's just, that's to say the yo. That implies I had it anyway in the first place, which I didn't. Yeah, that's me dead. for that side of the arena. Yeah, same with Manus. <sighs> oh, yay. Okay, so her, her glaive just went through the floor and still hit me. I was blocking that. supposed to do with that attack then? Um, 
game. Blocking that. <sighs> Hate this so much. Race. Unless it's Sekiro, then it doesn't. Seems it's a way to glitch her out, but it seems kind of finicky to me. Probably is. Camera's glitching out like nobody's business though. Will be a FromSoft game, I think, though, really. So you think you get fed up? Uh, that'll be fine. I don't trust guides on this game anymore in any way, shape, or form because they've all proven to be absolute liars. That's bullshit. Her time is so awful. Ah. <sighs> Said so say both over it in April, right? Don't know, you should probably um consult um uh, Google on that. Hey DJ, for your contribution to the day to the drunk stream challenge. 
the YouTube videos to not let him down. Still don't trust him. What the hell was that bullshit combo? I don't know if Dayquil already contains ibuprofen. I'm fairly certain it contains paracetamol, or sorry, as the Americans call it, acetaminophen. Those two can be taken without issue together. But if Dayquil already has ibuprofen in it, then don't take ibuprofen as well, because you'll you know, run the risk of overdosing. Well, not overdosing, but your body won't enjoy it. Ah, oh, thank you, Woodgum, for your contribution to the Drunk Stream Challenge. I feel like I need to be drunk to even get through this. I'm so glad I did all my Sen farming that I needed to do for um, the Dragon Mask before getting to this point. Who doesn't contain I put in an infection swim? Then it's probably safe. I hate that attack. That attack doesn't come up with a danger sign and complete, seems to be completely unparryable. I hate it. It's another example of this game lying to you. <sighs> Take those what Shakespeare used to write during the day as opposed to his night quill. Oh, come on! <sighs> oh. 
What the fuck? Okay, so yeah, she just wants to double her range randomly out of nowhere. Awesome. Wonderful game design. <sighs> fuck it. the thought behind that. From soft. Reminder, Poppy. <sighs> Good player. Now I almost hit so you could cheese kill several bosses back in Demon Souls the bow. I know, right? Okay, so there is a cheesy way to completely avoid the second phase. And basically, when you've first death blowed her, if you jump up to that tree there, you can then stealth death blow her little jump death blow. Apparently. Alternatively, you can jump on up on that tall tree, and most of the apparitions won't be able to hurt you. Their attacks will miss. Not sure what happened there. Excuse me. That didn't actually touch me, but sure. Second phase like Murgus wet nurse for worse. No. Full force that um, impact, even though I was only right on the cusp of it. Sure. So I turn forward, turn to miss and teleport around just by average attack. Eh, not really. It, uh, it, you know, it creates mist and then summons a, um, a shadow of itself. It's all that's um, 
nowhere near as bad as this. This is just essentially having a really, really fucking annoying ad phase. I really hate the fact that it's sweeping attacks you can't do anything about apart from you know, hope that you can jump over them. But at least Makiri Council ones, you can deflect them. They're just not as it's not as effective as Mikiri, as actually doing the Makiri Counter. Sanchez gained really perfect tracking on that attack. That overhead attack used to miss most of the time. But now, somehow... Oh, hi, McKinney Counter. I haven't pulled you off in a while. No, it wasn't close enough for that. I think that might be the one they patched out, though. I don't understand how people no-hit this game. I'll never understand how people no-hit any of the soldiers' games. I blocked that! And... What the fuck? I still had a resurrection up! I had a fucking resurrection up! What the fuck? This game's absolutely fucking bullshitting now. Wow. I had a fucking resurrection up. Jesus. Game doesn't seem to like you anymore. Game never likes me. It's fine, it's mutual. I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate FromSoft. That was it! That was almost it! I saw the death blow marker on her! I could have done it! There is a way to skip the, this entire phase. There is.
was risky, but hey, it worked. Oh no! Oh, you! I had resurrections up again. This game fucking lies to you about the resurrections. It really fucking does. <sighs> I hate it. I really hate it. They really shouldn't have those three fucking dots in the bottom of it. They should just say you have a state of you. You can resurrect or you cannot. Come on, really? Oh no!
Oh my fucking god, it's done. Jesus. Just watching this, some of the attacks look so unpredictable. Yes, I imagine that's not the case for the one actually fighting her. No, and the problem is, because of the delay between when she starts swinging and when it actually gets to the parry window, it's really difficult to know when you need to hit the parry button. Kai Vendrick, what is it? From Fons from soft and old pain, left hand there are old people fights. It's just from soft. This jumping off didn't mean you lost the fight and had to restart. Yeah, yeah, I would have been pissed off at that. There she is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you very much for the bits, Woodburn. Jesus Christ, I actually thought I was going to be on that all day. I did. Got a bit chills, Dragon Shinobi. Yeah, fucked, yeah. Tally board card from the large piece of jade. Possessing this increases the stocks that can be purchased in mer merchant shops. Such a tally board is highly prized by the merchant class. Old custom dictates that those of dragon rank are recognised as supreme merchants by the Imperial Palace and should be given the best possible treatment. Ah! What? <laughs> Do you want to see another example of FromSoft and their stupid sculptor idol and, you know, bonfire placement? There's one there. And there's one there. If I jump, I can actually um, see. Oh. Oh. Oh, they, oh, the draw distance bollocks it up. Really? Really from soft? Your reaction to people saying, Oh, look, after doing the, um, the Dragon Rider armor boss, I can see two bonfires in one screen. Their solution? Well, we'll just um, decrease the draw distance. Fucking from soft. Oh, thank you for the hydration reminder, DJ. That's so stupid. Yeah, that's from soft. That is just from soft. Oh my god. I'm not looking forward to this bit. I know exactly what this bit is. Enhanced attack power. Front memory. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe, although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. The corrupted monk was among the infested, standing over the Fountainhead Palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for eternal watcher of this place. Her true name is Priestess Yao. Yao. I was going Yao with some of the fucking hits she was doing on me. I have one cent left. Just the grand archive of okay, Drake's armor. Yeah, that's that's the one I was I was trying to um, reference. I just forgot what its actual name was. This place looks fucking gorgeous. Like seriously, that's lovely. He goes to the giant dragon tree dude. Yep, I'm pretty sure he's up there. I'm pretty sure those pillars are him. So I've got options to mod um, for this game and they use it. Um, because this boss can see the rage happening for someone that doesn't have options for that. Don't have to get I wouldn't recommend it. I would not. I seriously would not recommend this game. Imagine having to build that place. Workplace safety must be nearly none. Nice suit though. Yeah. It's lovely and it's you know deceptively nice. Except for the enemies that can kill you in pretty much one attack. I'm not kidding. Just a little more about the shit fights. Yep. Maybe a balloon of soul. Yeah, those guys. Those guys can pretty much kill you. Immediately. They can inflict a status on you, which is just as bad as terror. Well, actually, no, it could be worse than terror. Old. You just can't do anything. I don't think it ever goes away either. And he inflicts it on you just by knowing you're there.
I mean, in fairness, if you wanted to mod out all the shit fights, you end up modding out at like two thirds of the game. <laughs> Want to sign that? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, both Terra and Old are absolutely bullshit in this. Those streaming here's immediate screams. Ah, yes, Sekiro. <laughs> You're not wrong. Hello and welcome, Lydia. What the fuck? He saw me from over there. Jesus Christ! These guys have got such good vision for being old fucks. Yeah, that's what you are. You're a lump of fat wax. Fucking piece of shit. Ah. Shit. I didn't rest at that um, last uh, Sculptor's Idol, so I've got no healing. This is how quick you want to reach them. Yeah, they like they go into a state of being able to be killed as soon as you hit them. So that's not so bad, but the fact that they can pretty much one shot you as well, eh, it's less good. Oh look, it's a nest. That must mean Snuggie was here. Like coin purse. Fucking magpies. I'm sorry. What? Oh, we've got soldiers as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Although, after all the tension of that previous fight, I'm going to go and take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in a sec.
And I return. Sorry about that. A hydration from Poppy's bestie. Thank you, Poppy's bestie. Oh, right. Dance those two, the Drown King DLC is enemies that can't be damaged with your weapons. Take heavily reduced damage from elemental weapons. The wiki says I have to destroy your statues. Give them these powers, but I have no clue where said statues are. So these fuckers are bad, but they could have been worse. Oh, good God, yeah. Sounds like... Sounds like Dark Souls. I get very annoyed with this game sometimes. Some things like... The level story and the regular enemies are things that make me want to play this. And then comes the other side of the and the bosses. The BS status elements are some of the typical BS enemies. Yep. Pretty much. That's pretty much the whole summary of the. Oh shit! Of the game. I didn't even see he was there! Oh, Jesus! He didn't see any of that. I'm very bloody. But again, this this area is freaking gorgeous. Okay, that bit on the cliff there, that looks really badly textured compared to the rest of it. Oh shit. Let's shoot him out! Whoops. One thing I like about Dark Souls 2 is that Curse is just toxic lasts for a very short time. New Instant Kills the status is petrified. It can only be caused by the Basilisks. I think they did similar for, ba for Dark Souls 3 with that. That guy's hunting me. <laughs> that guy's really hunting me. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, it might not be fine. See. Yeah, he's still advancing. Because I don't translate it, but I know there were things like um, nothing broom tower where you need to smell so where just to destroy the buffers. Oh good god, yeah. Shit. Didn't think he was coming this way. He's still coming this way. But he's buggering off that way. Die! I'm a sneaky shit at some times. Sneaky, sneaky, stealth, stealth, sneaky, stealth, stealth, sneaky, stealth. So looking at that um, that roof just in the distance there to my left, I could swear that that little bit of blue around it was some kind of aura or an enemy there. No, it's just a gap in the trees. I see one of you right there, you little twat. I'm also very low on health.
That's how you do that. Balloon of wealth. That. I do not like the fact that that guy is doing those manoeuvres while guarding an item on the edge of a precarious bridge. Did I just lose the resurrection? No. No, it's one of those weird things that the game does, like, you know, I should have three resurrections, and I will when I rest again, but I've only got, you know, it says two, but I've got one. Who is why they called Drake Blood Knights or the Phantom Knights? Not sure they look like ghosts in a massive temple-like structure called the Dragon Sanctum. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can take this guy down. Probably going to massively regret trying this. Yeah, massively regret it. Although he does look like he's just a standard enemy. He is a standard enemy, but still that hurt. He's wearing a mask. He's actually wearing a mask. The ghost of Fristos. Love of grave wax. Oh, great. That! That's a treasure carp. That is a fucking treasure carp, I know that. Let me open my menu! Bastard fucking game sometimes. Uh spinning shuriken. Oh fuck! Running! Oh, I forgot you existed. Oh, if I find some boys waiting anymore. Those are the ones he killed. Oh, I didn't notice those ones. Do you defeat the hands I did my yump? Yup, dead. Killed up. This is the area that the monk was guarding. I see you up there. Okay, so you're on that side. Is there another dickhead on this side? Does not look like it. You're in there, though. What the fuck are those things? Not what I wanted to do. This way, what happened is Zeus came along. Pretty much. Zeus's pet fish. Hello and welcome. Well, at least those things die easily enough. Oh, eel liver. Hmm, I wonder why they give me an eel liver. Why are there multiple of them in there? How did you hear me? Oh, fuck. 
Did that thing just breathe lightning at me? I think it did. Yes, it did. Homing lightning, no less. Let me see these focus. Show you how this all. Quinn's pet dog. I'm gonna try and go around that way, it'll kill me. Got it just before it inflicted that on me. I wonder, can I do... I was going to say, can I do the same thing that I can with normal dogs? Yes, probably. Yep. <sighs> well, these things, thought you fought humans in this game. Yeah, this has gone further into the game where I'm up against more mythological creatures. It's absolute bollocks. Twitch being Twitch. Welcome back, DJ. Dark Souls 1, there were fire dogs. Dark Souls 2, there was not sure. Dark Souls 3, there are Sullivan's pet beasts. Here in Security, there are weird electric eel dogs. And in Bloodborne, there are the crows, the dogs, and the weird hybrids between the two. I wish I was kidding. But I'm really not. That's because the 3005 breathing uh, men weren't mythological. Eh. They're not so much a mythological beast, just, you know, something. I find this is. My mummy crow and her daddy dog love for each other very much. <laughs> oh, good God, yes. This is how an abominations are born. And the thing that we should learn from their union, don't drink and flirt. Oh yeah, I remember there's a monk up there who's doing the lightning shots at me. The same group of scholars kidnap them, experiment them. Who? Or the occasional mad scientist. That too! Oh, an idol. Rest. I did the entire first portion of that of that with no healing items apart from one pellet. Surprised I actually managed to get through it. I'm also just a tiny, teeny, itsy witsy bit off of getting a fifth skill point. So they actually have the other thing I want though. Yeah. Praying strikes exorcism. As a finishing attack to praying strikes, unleashing a flow of quick attacks, including damage while preventing counter attack. Then use a heavier blow using one's entire body to complete the combination. Same so monks also use this um, technique as a way to purge themselves of worldly desires. However, hold them or that to the exorcism. How do you body an enemy knocking them away? There's been Dark Souls, the ground woods have been filtered with safe zone messages on the ground. I mean, there are. There's these. Should try sugar. Okay. I wonder if there's a way of getting up on them. Oh, bollocks, I forgot about them. Ah, tits, 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 tits. I 
Okay, so I might have forgotten um, about the Dark Souls mechanic of everything respawning after you rest. You know, the most basic of the um, Dark Souls formula um, mechanics, I forgot about it. Good but short. Someone over there. The bastard are you? I can't target you. Okay. Young man, please be careful. The palace nobles have a craving for the vitality of youth. They can't help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more and more of it. I see. The courtyard ahead. I've already killed five of them, and now they tell me. It. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead. Face punch. Go around it. Why are you telling me this? I have a favor to ask you, young man. What is it? It's about my father. My father is now a noble. And the moment he became one, he found himself entranced by a carp. The great carp. For a long, long time since. He's done nothing but feed that cursed carp, young man. Please release my father from the carp's bewitching powers. I know my father wouldn't wish for an eternity like that. Why is that just so ridiculous? The courtyard is an accursed place, and if you see my pleas, Oh Just my, my word. Oh my word, that's Oh I can already see it I can already see three nobles in there. Well he was smash it was super effective. Something that never ever ever gets said in the entirety of um Pokemon red or blue. Ah, oh, bite down. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me again. It's more. There's a lot of nobles. Oh, yeah, the game I'll see. I only said red and blue because I don't know. Oh my good god. Because I don't know um, of the. I have never played another Pokemon version apart from red or blue. Skill points. Watch this be something completely useless. Something completely useless. Ah. <sighs> So I can see you. I don't know where. There's another noble in there, but I can't see him. That makes me nervous. So you're there. I think I can get behind you and stealth kill you. Yep.
What the bastard is that thing? I should just stand there now again for my soul in Japan face. Gaiden didn't quite hit the right spot. That's fair. Yeah, I would definitely agree that Nio would probably be um, the better choice. Yellow gunpowder. It stands to reason I think I've got enough um, upgrade materials to pretty much upgrade all of my um, shinobi tools. What I lack is the money. So what is that out there? I know I can most likely get to it by rooftop traversal. Is this a case of finding? Okay, that's a great fun though. Never, I'm never able to get on with um, Ninja Gaiden. But then again, that's because you know it's. I played it when I was young, and it completely. Completely and utterly brutalized me. I was never able to get past level two. Ugh. Abomination made us all weird. We'll see, Wigan. Yes. Yes, share your abominations. Obscure boy. Was an option in Nio 1 as far as I recall. Oh no, yeah, Nio 1 is a set protagonist, isn't it? Yeah, it's only Nio 2 we can create your own character. What, where? Oh, it's you! You saw me in there? Oh, Jesus Christ, you've got good eyes. I do wonder, though, if one shuriken is enough to kill those bastards. Like, if it is, that would be amazing. Oh, it's not. It takes five to kill them. Five isn't too bad. Oh, there's a red one! There's a red one in there. Sharp throwies are, are ineffective. Nowhere near, they're nowhere near as good as I thought they'd be, you know, considering they died with one hit from my sword, but then again, you know, I've got quite a lot of attack power. Imagine you had collapsible bro boast prosthetic. Oh yeah, even just you know like a crossbow. You know, just like flex, flip, out come the size, then pew. That would be awesome. Maybe not going. What? Oh, sorry to hear it, CJ. <laughs> very in very inconspicuous. You no. I'm gonna hide somewhere that you can't see me at all if you get unless you get really fucking close. No fucking way I'm gonna try and take on all three of you. Individually, yeah, possibly maybe. All three of you? Nah. Yes, bodyguards. Yep. And since I supremely suck at um, this game, I wonder which I could do first. Dark Souls 3, no SS run, or a normal Sekiro run. I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't advise trying either of those. Oh, look. Oh, look. You lag behind, you die! Fooled by that. I'm surprised I managed to do that. No, it's just trying to be easier. Yeah. Yeah, because just in general, Dark Souls 3 is the easier one.
Okay, so a video just popped up on my recommended, which was Gale and the Orphan fighting each other. I didn't think that was possible, putting boss from different games against each other. Yeah, it is possible with mods, if you know what you're doing. That's also, it's probably easiest to solve games, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. It's all, it's the most accessible. I wouldn't call it easy. It's more, it's the more accessible of the, of all of them. It's the most polished. Talk about Popper, your friends got home? No problem at all. Wasn't hackers fine ways. Yep. Dark Souls 2 just gives everything so much health they can um, wait for you to uh, make a mistake. Dark Souls 1 is janky. Ah, Dark Souls 1, not that bad. The biggest uh, the biggest obstacle, personally, for Dark Souls um, 1, for me, is the fact that you're used to Souls games having better than four-directional rolling. And it's got four-directional rolling. And it's uh, not the best. Dark Souls 3, while far from perfect, is probably is the most polished and well-rounded of the Souls games. Bloodborne... Bloodborne, it's kind of unfair to compare, because f um, Bloodborne is um, set towards a completely different playstyle than the Souls games. The Souls games are all about, you know, taking your time, being, you know, slow and steady sort of thing, whereas Bloodborne is just attack, 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 kill it as fast as possible in pretty much all senses of the words. There's no time for being defensive. There's not even a, um, there's not even a shield. Well, not even a good one. Um, I was going to say, we may not be uh, going to watch the third first stream. I don't know whether it's going to be someone's birthday. I may be in VR chat for a bit. The rest are going off that. So, um, but it's nowhere near that day, so I'm just going to delete the message when see. Well, I'll be doing... So basically the plan is that unless um, both Tyr and Mal say that they've got something planned for Halloween, the actual day, um, I'm going to be streaming the Halloween game on the Saturday instead of Sekiro. So there's one junk you do not to play Demon Souls. Think, oh god, yeah. Yeah, Demon Souls is way jankier. Dark Souls 2 as well as soul inflation through the roof, like coming at level 150. Yeah. That's also to compensate for the fact that you, that, you know, they put in extra stats, which is just stupid. Can we don't own a PlayStation? Wish I did. So, can we play Bloodborne? Yeah, uh, I mean, for PlayStation, if you want for Demon Souls, you'd have to get um, a PlayStation Three or a PlayStation Five. Doesn't exist on the PlayStation Four. I just don't think it does. Still a new game. Inflation might be about um, yeah. But. Can't remember what Bloodborne is. Bloodborne is the I don't think I actually don't know if you watched um, Bloodborne Poppy, but basically it's um a very sort of like dark gothic Victorian style um Souls game. With a lot of Lovecraftian horror elements put into it as well. It is it is rather good. I do like it a lot. Okay. Oh, treasure cup scale. Oh, I need those. Another treasure cup scale. I need those. Another treasure cup scale. I still need those. Open chest. Water of the palace. A cup filled with divine waters, a drink popular with nobles of the palace. When a wedding procession arrives at the fountain palace, this drink they greet you with. Let's tell the palace notes, go ahead, drink to your heart's content. It's the thing that I need to give the guy in um in the Mibu um, village, who's, you know, drinking. It's the one that looked like it said in Victorian England, but slightly shittier. Victorian souls, werewolves, and Lovecraft. Yeah. It's really good, though. It is good. It's just, you know, it's a very different playstyle to um, Dark Souls and this. It's supposed to be the sneakiest area I've seen so far in the game. Yeah, it's almost reminiscent of, of the uh, start of the game, because the start of the game was also very sneaky.
He's got a bodyguard. I like that he's got a bodyguard. But yeah, the beginning of Sekiro is very much more on the stealth um, oriented style. Like, at the beginning, it is very easy to see why um, a lot of people think of Tenchu when they play it. Because I certainly did. Oh no! 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 I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. It takes away all your resurrections, makes you unable to move, and gives you tiny amounts of health. <sighs> That's bullshit. That's really bullshit. Because I'm back here now. Although, seeing as I've got that water, I might as well go back to um, the Mibu um, village and give it to the guy who's going... <laughs> Skira and Bloodborne has the most fast gameplay, then there's Dark Souls, then there's Dark Souls 3, then I believe Dark Souls 1 and 2. Bomb because it's constant hit, wait for the enemy to strike, dodge, hit, kind of deal. Not sure what Demon Souls falls in the mix. I'd say between Dark Souls 1 and 2, personally. You know, with regards to you know, how fast things are. Actually, I could go to Dilapidated Temple, so we've got the Dragon Tally things, which means that the guy's got more things to sell. DJ got a new milkshake and it's a different brand because well if anyone read the message last night before I delete it, autism was going off because the shop gave me an out of date one and he noticed it's gone off even though I got it yesterday with bread drink it. Well if I am brewing two coke cans got rid of the taste. Jesus. Purchase items. I noticed about the apparitions in the Sunken Valley. I've dealt with them, I think. Well, at least, you know, selling all of this, it's kind of awesome. I have to agree with Malcolm Demon's Soul, especially since bows are so much more powerful than they ever were in the Dark Games. Yeah. Where is the Sunken um, Valley? The apparition's in the Sunken Valley. I think I know where that is, but I just want to check. Uh, what's Sunken Valley? Under Shrine Valley, Sunken Valley, Gun Fort. Oh, it's the ones that are spawning there now that I'm going back. Right. I might as well buy the memo just to see if there's any um, interesting stuff there. Purchase items. Yes. I've got three of those. I need another nine. And that's about the apparitions of the Sunken Valley. Apparitions have been sighted in the Guardian Ape of the Sunken Valley's old den. Angry spirits with many faces. The Guardian Ape's old den can be found at the bottom of the Sunken Valley, not far from the Forest of Mist. Also, some reports they could hear the sound of a woman crying in the distance. Well, that's useless, but okay, thank you. Oh, there's stuff in the um, lost items um, box. Why, though? Oh. Oh, it's that thing. There. Shouldn't people from out of their um, aggro hit range is very enjoyable. Yep. If you kill Miss Slice and Dice as my lord, nope. No, I have not. I have not killed her. I just no. No. Uh-uh. No. She's one of the bosses that I need to kill, but I'm not looking forward to doing so. None the least. Um Mibu, the Mibu village. Um, Mibu village. I believe it's from the original. I actually can't remember. It's probably somewhere from the watermill. No idea whereabouts that guy is. With all the slurp, slurp, slurp. I 
I will command everyone to drink the waters. That's the only thing I've been here since acquiring the breathing technique. I have not been here since acquiring the breathing technique. What the bastard is that thing? Um, so want to explain to me why there's... One person's... What the feck is that thing? Red carp eyes! A carp that has lived in Mibu Village Pond, it has two red eyes. Carp with only eyes that are red cannot become masters. They are considered incomplete creatures that lack the ideal of scales. Their eyes are said to be everlasting. The researcher Doja in the abandoned dungeon wants his eyes to improve his procedure. Oh, okay. Drink the water like this. chest. That's kind of bright! A prayer bead? Okay, then! I am not going to complain at that. I'm going to be slightly mystified as to why, but I'm not going to complain. I don't find how a short bone demon souls does about as much damage power as the dragon slayer great bird does in dark souls one yeah it's a bit on the cheesy side thank you for the hydration reminder dj yeah i cannot remember at all where that guy is unless he's in the big house that's surrounded by um, all those people possibly where he is, because he doesn't look like there's anywhere in here he could be. There's the basket guy in there, I think, you know. Game, will you... Thank you. That's the idol. Yeah, I think that's the... And the guy's actually in that big house. I'm going to do it now before I actually forget and then you know, I can go back to progressing through that fucking fountain end palace. Fountain. Yes, fountain. Then we get the white bow, which is frankly scary and just for the fun, sticky compound longbow with the longest reach of any soul's bow. Miss those weapons. Excuse me. I probably will stream Demon Souls at one point, probably. Largely because um, I have Demon Souls on PS3, so I'll stream the PS3 version of it. You not to see. So yeah, that house. That's where I'm pretty sure the um, the palace guy is. I could have just... I honestly could have just... Teleported to that one. I really could. 
but yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to um, stream the PS5 version of Demon Souls because I'm never going to buy the PS5 version of Demon Souls. I don't see a point. So I already own the PS3 version. Ooh, didn't know this was here. Heavy coin purse. Remember this place? Yeah. Now it's live about any coins to switch. Fair enough. I've seen anything from there before, I remember. I uh, yeah, such fun reaching this. Yep. It's ended too soon. Ah. Oh, the cup has run dry. But this won't do. It's too dilute. Refuses to dissolve completely. Unfit to be citizens of the palace. Oh. oh, waters of the palace, fill our cups once more. Fill them to the brim. I'm ready to move so talk to you. No problem at all, Poppy. Thanks for coming as long as you're here. See you soon. Water of the palace. Hello. Take this. Oh, this fragrance. Such an esteemed aroma. Finally, we may be accepted. I have no idea what that does. No idea. Dragon Spring Sake, a bottle of crystal clear sake. Sake is drink meant for sharing. Top shelf sake brewed by Ashina Brewmaster with the water from the Dragon Spring. Pure water extracts every last bit of flavour from Ashina's finest rice. There are no words that can do a favour justice to understand one's place for themselves. In that case, you will surrender it to me. All he does now, he's just gonna you know, drink, drink, drink. Well, just call me the thirst curer, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I didn't go down here either. Interesting little area. Whether it's going to have anything of actual interest in it remains to be seen. God, those things do a lot of damage. Precious bait. This is precious bait. The texture is slimy and something resembles horn. Seems to just out of it. Just the kind of bait the master loves. Ring the bell, drop the bait. Oh. Well, that's going to be for the Fountainhead Pass where I currently am. And my curiosity just led me to that. Well, what do you know? It was actually a good reason for me to do that. Oh. Um, hi guys. It's been one big chug of water. Oh shit. Bye guys. Didn't mean to interrupt your congregation. Bye.
Well, I think that's everything I can do here. So, let's head back to the Fountainhead Palace. I'm very glad that I came back here. I really am. Travel. Fountainhead Palace. Fountainhead Palace, Vermilion Bridge, Mibu Manor. Oh my fucking god, it's called Mibu Manor. For fuck's sake, I've gone from one Mibu place to another. Bollocks. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. In case it wasn't clear before, bollocks. Excuse me. I can't play in full new face anymore. My PC is actually too good for this point. It's stupid. Yeah, that does suck, but it's the sad truth about um, about gaming. As technology advances, compatibility patches are required, and compatibility patches aren't typically provided by the developer. So, what happens if you um, return to that guy when the area is reset? point actually. I manage that. So for New Vegas is on the PC is actually kind of notorious for not working properly. Um, there are a few patches you can download to try and get it to work but even then it's not 100% because I know Mori um, was streaming for New Vegas but it got to the point near the end where it just you know would not refuse it would refuse to work completely. <clears throat> so now the area is reset let's go and have a look. Can test that. Yeah, it just it won't always work. I was lucky enough that I got um, that I got to experience um, New Vegas on the Xbox 360, so it worked perfectly for me. Don't know the problem. Just wanted to capacity by you done you can. Yeah, sometimes it just won't work, and sometimes you need to reset it like 50 times just for it to work. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. He became a noble. Five treasure carp scales. Holy shit! He had five treasure carp scales on him. What the actual fuck? That's kind of awesome. And they're all just normal still. They're all their normal zombified selves. If no mods for it, it runs just fine on your laptop. It's, yeah, Fallout New Vegas is a really weird one. Um, key items. I have eight. I need four more. I need four more, and then I can get the last bit of the dragon uh, mask. Good thing you're curious. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Woodgren. All my other performance mods. Um, my PC just hates me, which means the only Fallout game I own that actually runs is now Fallout 4. In fairness, there is a, com there is a community of modders working on making Fallout New Vegas as a mod for Fallout 4. So you'll basically get all the Fallout 4 quality of life improvements onto Fallout New Vegas. Like a sprint button. Is he working on using uh, Fallout New Vegas? Yes, there is. Twitch man's not doing that. Break shut up. No, I'm not. <laughs> he's, just <laughs> he's just... He's through the floor now. <laughs> So I'll cry and happy. It is happening. Um, I believe at the moment it is in the stage of yo. They've got the first part of it done and they're putting it out for yo free base testing. But I couldn't find it. But I don't know. It's because yo, I'm using someone else's version of Fallout um, 4, so I can't download mods. I don't know. It's Bethesda. I don't trust any of their shit to work. Or whether I'm just not looking in the right place. So I definitely came in here before. I just never went out this bit. Because I, you know, I'd never seen that. Well. So, yeah. Q 
Curiosity definitely leads the way. How would that work? The UI and leveling system is so different. Don't know. Either it's going to be the Fallout 4 um, leveling system, or it's going to be someone mods it in. I have no idea how they're planning on doing it. It's just this is what I've heard and hoped for because I really want to play New Vegas again because, you know, it's made by Obsidian, the people who actually know what they're doing with Fallout. And also my hope that it's the last um, Fallout that gets made. Oh, that was gross. I say it's more like cardboard than actual water. Travel. Travel. Back to here. Uh, also, everyone who plays New Vegas always talks about law, talks about how it's a critique on capitalism and many things. And what truly tells me is that with confirmed bachelor and lady killer, as a bisexual, I'm ten percent more efficient at killing all of you. Yeah. I mean, I, I played the games um, as female and had um, Widower or Widowmaker um, as the perk, which means I do more damage against men and you know, have unique seduction dialogue. Which, you know, the best part of that, by far none. The absolute best part of having the Widow, um, the Black Widow perk, yeah, that's what it's called, the Black Widow perk, is when you encounter the guy who shoots you in the intro, you can seduce him. You can seduce him getting into bed, so when you're in his hotel room, you're both naked, you kick the shit out of him in his bedroom after having sex with him. Or before. I can't remember if it's before or after, but yeah, you can do that. And it always makes you laugh. My big question is, how the feck do I get up on top of there? Six skill points now. Because it looks like it would be something to do with getting up onto that bit, but I can't reach that. Or if I... Well, no, I can reach it, I just can't grab it, because there's no lid grab. So instead of Bethesda for an entire different timeline reality to Black Isles Obsidian. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 don't seem to fit into um, Fallout for me. Like, they're just... They're just way too different um, uh, in just everything. I also want to know how to get into there, although to be fair, I'm actually fairly confident that the only way to get into there is to get onto the roof. That's the part of the seals way fucking different than the obsidians. Yep. So the yeah, phrase the original two she gets on that. Technically the original three. Technically. Because Fallout Tactics is a thing. Fallout Tactics is a thing that I actually recommend as well. Fallout 1 and 2 the BOS was pretty much non-existent. Yep, they were a shadow... Yo, they were known as a shadow of their former self, and it was literally they were a few remnants left, and that was it. See, that looks like I should be able to jump out there. And then Fallout, in Fallout Tactics, you basically played along the other side of the country. Which I thought was, you know, really good, and they did it really well. And it's basically the, the Brotherhood of Steel um, split in, had split into two factions, and one went um, to a different way than the rest of them. And that's the one you played. Oh shit, I forgot! That's how I died last time. Bollocks, 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 bollocks! Oh shit, fuck.
I think you meet a, to a four bottle sealed in memories in total in Fallout 2 and the Enclave of Serious Slicing 2 as well. Yeah, because there was um bunk there were four there were brothers sealed bunkers in Fallout 2, but you could never get into any of them. Like there was no way of getting into them because, you know, you couldn't ally yourself with the Brotherhood of Steel, and if you killed the guards, the doors doors were locked. By the way, wasn't the Enclave not wiped out and the is just not present? I mean, their base of operations is destroyed in Fallout 2. You yeah, know, that's the ending of Fallout 2, essentially. <clears throat> there is evidence that they are around in New Vegas. But not much beyond that. So you can get, in New Vegas. I'm very certain it's if you go to a certain way. Or no, nah, I can't. I can never remember whether it's Fallout Three or New Vegas. But if you go a certain direction from near the starting point, you can actually encounter um, a Deathclaw-filled um, island with a crashed uh, plane, and it's got um, Enclave armor on it. With dead bodies as well, suggesting you know the Enclave were there. That was their refuge point, but it went sideways. They basically got massacred by Death Claws, because you know Death Claws a legit legitimate threat in um, earlier Fallout games. Although I still love in Fallout Tactics, you can recruit Death Claws. That was fun. That was so fun recruiting Death Claws. You enter San Francisco bunker after some mission fire, you hand attack to any of the others. Oh, yeah. But still, again, there wasn't all that much there, was there? Okay, you're over there. You're watching that guy there. So it's a better idea, clearly, to go this way. Which you can't see. I don't know who saw me. Oh, it's that guy down there. That's fine. He's trying to do with his bodyguards. It's fine. Death door sent into a into a game randomly. I'll never forget the Quarry Junction, Lonesome Road DLC. It's really easy. Yeah. Oh. That's what that is, is it? Oh. Well, I learned what was being contained in this um in this area. I'm not so sure I want to know. I'm not sure I want to um, go up against that now. Bollocks. However, it is this cow. Yeah, so imagine. If you want to imagine just how bad Death Claws were in the original games, imagine a turn based game. Barely knew I'd just run away from this ball. Ugh. Yeah, so imagine a turn based game. An enemy that could typically move two or three times before you did had extreme amounts of armor penetration on its claws and had a huge amount of armor just naturally. And also had about 15 action points so could pretty much cross the entire map before you can even have a turn. Those were original death claws. They were scary as fuck. Was it Vegas Human Beats? A, um... A former squad of Enclave soldiers through a companion in a quest line with some pretty neat reference to Fallout 2. Oh yeah, I remember that. Giant water buffalo with magic horns. Yeah. Which companion member of the Zambo have only ever had Cass, Veronica and Boone as companions? Rex 2. I actually can't remember. I wonder, can you, can you aerial death blow this thing? I really want to know if I can aerial death blow him. Because, you know, he's just walking around.
Uh, you can, but it doesn't kill him. Sam Brandenburger there was an AI that could increase some of your stats if you found the right items. Also mentions the war might have started because some of its fellow AIs went and been walking their isolation. Yeah. Well, I'll play some of the first work games. If new games doesn't want PC, you may have silly ones either. They will. If you get them from GOG.com, they come with, with compatibility patches. My PC can play Fallout 1 and 2. It's a bit wonky with tactics, but it can play the first two. A companion in the quest line was his arcade Ganon, can be found in the followers in the Mormon followers in Vegas. Oh yeah. A beast karma, latent skill increases the maximum number of spirit elements that can be held. Spirit elements are a manifestation of regret. Wait, isn't that Isn't that four prayer beads? Yes, I've got to go to the um the Yeah, I've got to go and make it now. Hell it. Well, I killed that thing. <laughs> Could have been done so much better, but hey. <laughs> <clears throat> At least I killed that thing first try, unlike the actual first blazing bull, which presents me with quite a bit of problem. Right. I'll just come to, let's come to right there. Oh! Enhance physical attributes. Consume four prayer beads. Seventh prayer bead necklace. Loose prayer beads strung together and offering to a sculptor's idol increases the maximum vitality and posture. Prayer bead necklace befits the strong. An unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord. Dismissed after giving to drink, he fell to a life brigandry, and so he was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard. As we have met. Seventh prayer necklace. Look at the. Look at the size of my health bar now! That's impressive! That's just damn impressive, the size of that health bar. Watch it, you know, get. Watch it mean absolutely nothing as I get sh this shit kicked out of me. Um. I can hear shit being thrown at me. Mainly that. Like coin purse, scrap magnetite. That bastard is able to see me. Still. So 
I just keep playing ancient level games all of myself sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that in the slightest. Really? I was hidden. I was... I don't see how he could hit me when I'm in the underbrush, which is where you're supposed to be stealthed. Red lump. Yeah, that's me, Dad. Oh, well. Because it's him. It's that guy there, right above Sekiro's head. There's a monk-type thing there. And that is what is um, doing the lightning bolts on me. No more move because Dungeon Keeper works. So I can't turn my sound off and the sound in the game is fucked. Doesn't work and I have to open volts to fix it. I can't do that. It's not to play with. No sound. That's fun. Oh, sorry to hear that. Right. I'm going to take a very quick bathroom break. Back in just a sec. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's see. Du -du -du. Uh, what did I miss? What's this word? Du -du -du. Yes, Fallout 4 2 and Tactics were all made before I was born. Yep, I can imagine that. Van Buren probably was as well. The Van Buren Project, which was essentially Interplay and Obsidian. Well, no, Interplay and Black Isle making Fallout 3. It never took off though. They never actually finished it. And it was going to be Fallout 3, then they changed its name to the Van Buren Project, then it just stopped and died. Sadly. I would have loved to have seen it. I got to play, you know, the the, the amount of it that exists, which is not much, but it seemed good. It was basically Fallout 1 and 2 with better graphics. Um, sorry, I missed that one. Apparently you're not the only one um, in 2009 being said that, thanks to GOG. Hmm. 
I mean, in fairness, the issue with that is that games like um, Dungeon Keeper and around that era, when the games were on CD, especially, you know, Quake was also another one, um, you could play, you could install them and play them without the CD in, but all the music and most of the sound effects were on the CD. So because you're attempting to play a game that was meant to be either with or without a CD, and there's no actual CD, it's very difficult to code those things back in. Because it's not part of the base game code, because it's, you know, it's saying, look for X-File, X-File is on this piece of physical media. That's very difficult to code, unless someone has basically gotten a copy of the disc, ripped its contents, and then been able to integrate them. Which, not always um, possible. And Kelly, hello and welcome, and thank you for the hydration. The affirmation, that request, and an unjoke as well. Well, I can take care of those. Oh, and there's a best behavior one as well. Thank you very much, Callie. That says one minute ago. So I'm going So I don't know how long that's been up. So I will set my timer for 10 minutes and we will do the best behavior on that um, timer. 10 minute timer going on now. I'll take the hydration reminders as well. Thank you to DJ and Callie for these. So, affirmation for poor baby Capius, who's having um, a no good, very bad day today. Oh, what's so wrong with the poor little fluffer? Affirmation for Capius. He's cute. He's a friggin' adorable um, kitten. And, you know, has got a incredibly wonderful and caring fur mum. I can't wait to meet the little fella. You know, I'm glad that Dresden has not been his usual self around him and is actually, you know, being nice and accepting. So, well done to Dresden as well. But KPS, you seem to have been doing a really good amount of work towards helping out um, Callie with her mental health and stopping her from feeling um, quite so lonely. So, yeah, go going KPS. Go second set of shots. Oh, that'd be why. Decided to just go and buy the entire Fart series for twenty dollars on GOG, which is some um, nice prices. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That is a very good price. Even added in Arena and Daggerfall, which I dag ever played. Yeah, they they did that with me when I first bought them from GOG many, many, many. Well, some time ago, I think a couple of years ago now. I was like, I have no interest in playing either of those games because I do not like the Elder Scrolls series. Let's see, unjoke. What do you call a man with a shovel in his head? Well, never mind what his name is. Call him an ambulance. Get him to hospital. He needs surgery for that. So wonder he's still alive. And shot says, "Oh, that's a free sample." So thank you, anyways. I mean, so there is a Star Wars game called Battle for Naboo. I think it is, and it is just terrible. It was to the point where, when it when it came out, shortly after it came out, at my local game shop, they were trying to give copies away. Like, any time you bought a game, they would say, would you like this for free? I was like, they're, they're, it's that bad, is it? And then they said, yeah, it kind of is. It's like, when you are offering a full game for free, that has only just recently come out as a free add-on purchase for anything you've gotten, you know it's bad. You know it's really bad. Right, let's also see what's over this away. It's interesting that that monk only seems to target you if you go in the water. If you stay out of the water, you are absolutely fine and protected from him. Oh, there's a Miss Noble there. I must have missed him. Look, best behaviour doesn't stop me from um, making bad jokes as much as it probably should. Flu where will be bad for those two games will serve to make mobile collection look bigger. I have no I have no interest in them. I really have no interest in them. They're in my collection, but yeah, I will never in. I will never install them. I will never play them. Don't care about them. There's no alternate entrances to that place. That's good. 
There's just him there, him there, there's another one under me, and there's another one inside. This is not going to be good. There's also items in there. Ah. But there's also, for some weird reason, there's just this Miss Noble just hanging out there. I'm not sure why. Is it just me, or do those look like treasure carp? I don't think they are. No, they're not. They'd be running away from me if they were. That one just sighted me and just kept on swimming around. Yeah, they're not treasure carp. Hmm. Sphericals. Uh, I think I made it to the Marathon, see if I can ever make it to Fort Forever. Seems, it seems that GOG New Vegas may legitimately run better than the Steam one. Not possible. Is there a way to just gift games away with them in your library? Nope. Sadly not. Once you have bought, once you have bought a game, the code is um, registered to your account and you cannot give it away. Nor can you refund it. Yeah, that is not a treasure card. Reason being, it was trying to eat my face. Really? I swear this game has lost its climb its um, verticality and climbability. So it's clear that that's the way forward, but I've still got stuff um, I want to do around here, namely clearing out that big room. I was going to say, you can give the bad games to me if it helps, I'll play games and the bad ones. Yeah, no, sadly not. I'm there to stand there. I forgot you'd respawned. The only way you can do something like that is you buy. You can um, sometimes buy the Steam key or the Steam code rather than buying the actual game. You can give that to someone, and they can then download the game through that. That's you know a way of gifting you know gifting games, but you still have to you know buy the key in the first place to actually get that. What on earth was that? Jesus! That was a bit extreme. I can't remember if in my outburst there if I broke best behaviour or not. Someone please confirm if I did or not. Because you don't know how um, GOG works in the kind of soul for that one, it's grayed out. Weird. Not sure why that would be a thing. Shame for that stops pirating other stuff. Yeah. That is generally what it's um, designed to prevent. If you bought it, you should be able to um, uh, download and install it. There shouldn't be anything stopping you. No, this is not me saying that you know there's you know I know the reason why it's not doing that or you know there is a reason I'm just saying it should. It's Ten minutes in your time slot, the best behavior. No, not yet. I've got on. I've got an alarm set for it. It's until until two intact. It's not one. Weird. Really 
game. Oh, for Pete's sake. That guy's got bodyguards. So that means, yes, you have broken the best behavior rounds going up. I was asking how, no, if I had. I'm not going to just accept a yes, you have. Oh well, there's the timer over anyway. Because I didn't, because I couldn't. Re I was asking for confirmation. Have I broken it? Because I couldn't recall if I said yes. Um, I swear, something swear yes or no. Lack of uh, lack of um, clarification, and the, uh, the timer though. However, just done. Um, you know, I'm just going to run. There's no actual point. Ah, uh, there is a point in running. There we go. Those guys, they really hurt. Don't like these guys. I'm just going to eat the pellets. A little bit of health for gem. I think it's you, it's Super One, can't download via GG Gats, the only homepage. That's weird. I've been able to download via um, Galaxy. No idea. I've got no idea why it's be doing that then. None whatsoever. What the? All right, you see. What are you going to do about it? You're not going to do anything about it, are you? I'm just going to sit there. Really, really wish there's a way of getting inside there. And oh! Ho, 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 ho! Classic from GOG, Diablo 1 of his Oh, he had to go and support a bunch of um, sexual harassers and sexual harassment apologizers. Oh. Blizzard is absolute, absolute trash. Ugh. That was it. Divine Glass Adam White Scrap. That was not worth all the trouble. Although there's an item here, so this might be something. Pellet. It wasn't anything. 
None of that was worth it. It really wasn't. Well, yeah. Uh, well, it stops me wondering. I think I have an idea to down the galaxy. Yeah, um, I don't have a problem with the sort of There are probably a few decent people and businesses who rely on their jobs to make a living to just I can't leave. Yeah, but you can't use that um, logic to excuse the entire company of doing that. Of the stuff that the company has done, and then, you know, the lack of apology or reparations they've tried to make. You can't use the fact that there might be a few good people there to um, excuse it. You, you can't. Was this, but sometimes it doesn't think. Yeah, fair. Honestly, like I say, go for Path of Exile. Path of Exile is not affiliated with Blizzard whatsoever, has a very similar feel to Diablo, and in my opinion is better, and it's also free. Completely free. I mean, it's got microtransactions in it, but none of it's necessary. It's none of it's pay to win. It's mostly cosmetic. Oh, fuck! I ain't dealing with that shit today. I'm not dealing with that bollocks today. <laughs> it just so happens to be about around the time that I would um, be switching games and going on a bit of a break anyway. So, you know, there was a nice little, um, nice little ending point there. Try to catch you. That's, uh, that's fair. I loved it. I absolutely love it. I think according to this fish, you have Path of Exile, like it sadly would be. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm, excuse me. But no, I'm a massive fan of Path of Exile. And I will be playing it on stream at some point for RPG Wednesday. Just need to download it on the PS4. PS5. Keeps... It's a PS5. I, sp I spent a lot getting this. I shouldn't be calling it a PS4. It's a PS5. Right. So, I'm going to go on um, be right back for a bit. I'm going to take a bit of a break. Um, I encourage people to do the same. Go and get yourself something to eat, something to drink, stretch your legs, take a bathroom break. Do whatever you got to do. Um, I'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes, so either at 5 past or 10 past the hour. Um, and we'll be doing Monster Hunter World with Mal and Tyr. Well, hopefully. Like I said, I've seen them both earlier. Mal, I think, is still around somewhere. And Tyr, I believe, may have gone to sleep. But we don't, you know, who knows? We'll see. So you have one for Joe, we don't have one too on Battle.net, it seems. Because we're giving Blizzard money at some point. Yeah. Sadly. But, you know... Even if so, I prefer not to continue supporting them. Like Sekiro. Sekiro is an Activision game. They're, you know, basically the same company as Blizzard now. I've never given them a penny. I've bought Sekiro three times. Every single time it's been from a second-hand shop, so I've actually given them no money. Um, which, for obvious reasons, finds himself same. I play, I play a witch as well, and I do the necromancy build. That's, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. All the minions all the minions but yeah um actually let's get up let's get up some music to have on in the interim as usual do, 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 do. 